Are you ready to be amazed? Tune in as we deep dive into China's ambitious plan to build an awe-inspiring satellite station on the continent of Antarctica, a move that had the whole world talking. It might sound like something from a sci-fi movie, but this bold project is very real and has the potential to revolutionize space exploration. Hello and welcome back to another video of the door to the universe. Well, everyone was shocked to hear that China plans to build a satellite station in Antarctica. This ambitious project is part of China's new efforts to expand its scientific research and presence in Earth's most extreme continent. China Aerospace Science and Technology Group company plans to build satellite stations at the Zhongshan Research Base in Antarctica. The bid for the project was won with 4.95 million yuan, 6.53 million bid, according to a state-controlled China Space News report. However, technical details of the project have yet to be disclosed. China has operated its Antarctic research station, Kunlun Station, since 2009. There have been reports that China plans to expand its presence in Antarctica by building more stations and installing ground satellite stations. However, it is important to note that China is not the only country with established research stations in Antarctica. Many other countries, including the United States, Russia, and European countries also have research stations on the continent. Regarding the installation of ground satellite stations, there are concerns about the potential environmental impacts of such installations on the delicate Antarctic ecosystem. Additionally, there are concerns about the militarization of Antarctica, as the continent is currently demilitarized under the Antarctic Treaty System. While some countries may oppose China's expansion of its presence in Antarctica, Others may see it as an opportunity for increased collaboration and scientific research. China's increasing involvement in Antarctica has been a topic of interest and concern for many international observers. The recently announced plan by China Aerospace Science and Technology Group company to build satellite stations at the Zhongshan Research Base in Antarctica is part of a broader initiative aimed at building China's marine economy and turning the country into a marine power, according to a report by China Space News. China's Kunlun Station in Antarctica is one of the world's newest and most advanced research stations. It is located in the East Antarctic Ice Sheet in the Dome A region, known for its extremely cold temperatures, dryness, and low levels of atmospheric pollution. The Kunlun Station is named after a mountain range in China, considered one of the most important scientific projects in China's history. China's Polar Research Institute, part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, designed and built the station. The construction of the station was a significant engineering feat as the site is located more than 4,000 meters above sea level and experiences extremely low temperatures with average temperatures of around negative 50 degrees Celsius during the winter months. The station comprises several buildings including living quarters, laboratories, storage facilities, and power generators. It has a maximum capacity of around 60 people who regularly rotate in and out of the station. The station is equipped with advanced scientific instruments for various research projects such as telescopes, seismographs, and atmospheric sensors. Astronomy is one of the main areas of research conducted at the Kunlun Station. The station is located at a high altitude and in a remote location, which makes it an ideal site for astronomical observations. The station has several telescopes, including the Chinese Small Telescope Array, Sea Star, a set of four telescopes used to study the properties of exoplanets and other astronomical phenomena. The Sea Star project is a collaboration between China and several other countries, including Australia and the United States. Another area of research conducted at the Kunlun Station is the field of glaciology. The station is located near the Dome A ice sheet, one of Antarctica's thickest and most stable ice sheets. Scientists at the station are studying the ice sheet to better understand its properties and how it is affected by climate change. They are also researching the formation and movement of icebergs, which can significantly impact global sea levels. The Kunlun station is also involved in research related to climate change and the Earth's atmosphere. The station has several atmospheric sensors that measure the atmosphere's composition, including carbon dioxide levels and other greenhouse gases. 
Scientists at the station are studying how these gases are affecting the Earth's climate and how climate change is affecting the Antarctic region. The Chinese government intends to build the station within a few years, which will be used as an observation platform for its space program. This station will allow to receive and transmit data from space probes to explore interplanetary space more effectively. China's decision to build new satellite ground stations in Antarctica aims to improve its satellite communication capabilities, especially for polar or near-polar orbiting satellites. Satellites in such orbits provide critical data for various applications, including climate monitoring, weather forecasting, and remote sensing. However, these satellite stations have limited coverage over ground stations in lower latitudes due to their high inclination orbits. Therefore, closer to the poles, ground stations can provide a more continuous and reliable link for such satellites. Antarctica is an ideal location for satellite ground stations because of its proximity to the South Pole, where several satellites in polar or near-polar orbit cross daily. China's new ground stations in Antarctica will enable the country to receive satellite data more quickly and efficiently than it currently can through existing ground stations. Another reason why China is interested in building satellite ground stations in Antarctica is because the continent is relatively free from radio frequency interference. Unlike other parts of the world where the electromagnetic spectrum is heavily congested, Antarctica offers a clean frequency environment conducive to satellite communication. This is important because interference from other sources can degrade the quality of satellite data and reduce the reliability of satellite links. In addition to improving satellite communication, China's presence in Antarctica also serves strategic and geopolitical interests. Antarctica is a resource-rich continent with significant minerals, oil, and gas reserves. Although the Antarctic Treaty System ATS, prohibits mining or exploration activities in Antarctica, China has been expanding its presence on the continent through scientific research and infrastructure development. By building satellite ground stations in Antarctica, China can enhance its regional surveillance and monitoring capabilities, which could be useful in future conflicts or disputes. Moreover, China is one of many countries interested in building satellite ground stations in Antarctica. Other countries, including the United States, Russia, and Japan, have already established their ground stations in the continent. Such infrastructure development is a part of a broader trend towards increased interest in polar regions, which are becoming more accessible due to climate change and technological advancements. This announcement comes after reports that China is also looking to build a base on the moon. This proposed lunar outpost aims to advance the nation's space exploration goals and establish permanent settlements outside Earth's atmosphere. The new satellite station would not only provide beneficial resources for future missions, but also give China a strategic advantage over competitors when it comes to exploring outer space and collecting data from vast distances. This news has sparked widespread speculation about how this move might affect international relations regarding polar science cooperation and potential conflicts over resources found within Antarctica. Whatever opinions are formed about this landmark project, one thing is certain it will surely set off shockwaves in the world's political climate. Technological, strategic, and geopolitical factors drive China to build satellite ground stations in Antarctica. By improving its satellite communication capabilities, China can enhance its ability to gather critical data for various applications. Do you want more content on China's plan for stations in Antarctica? Subscribe to our channel and do let us know in the comments. What do you think about this?